Okay, um, just responding to some of your concerns or worries about this task to create these four mind maps, um, I've picked uh, one of the clearest examples from the class, so you can see that they've done four um, different mind maps of the four poems that we have covered. Um, and I'm going to talk through, first of all, what I think is really useful about this. And then I'm going to uh, explain what you could do to make these mind maps really, really useful um, for helping you to compare the poems. Okay, so the first thing is that um, what I really like about this is that there are really, really clear ideas around each poem. So thinking about the fact that the poem is about love, um, commenting on the fact that this onion is being used to represent that, and also picking out things that are a little bit more in-depth, like, for example, the poem is realistic about love, saying how it can be dangerous. So I really like these very clear points that are being made. The thing that will push us to this being an even more useful um, mind map is to add some quotations uh, in a different colour just to show you what we're doing um, so that we can come back to this mind map at a later point and use it when we are uh, thinking about the poems way into the future to help us remind ourselves what uh, we thought about it. So for example here, the poem is very realistic about love, saying how it can be dangerous. Um, now a good uh, quotation that you could add to prove that uh, could be lethal, okay? Now I really like that quotation because it's on a line by itself in the poem, it's got a full stop at the end, you call that an end stop, okay? So it is an end stopped line. And for me, that gives the impression of kind of not only certainty, but also a kind of, um, you know, it's almost like a shock to the, to the reader, isn't it? That love is lethal. The onion, the metaphor that is representing love is actually lethal. And I think that it really emphasizes that danger, doesn't it? By having that one word line with an end stop, okay? Um, so once we've picked the um, quotation, I'm going to change this into a different colour because this is where we're going to be writing very quick notes about analysis. So we've said it's an end stop line, one word on a line, which, let's make this box bigger, which emphasises um, the danger of love, okay? Obviously, if you were writing this out into an essay, you would expand that point a little bit further. Um, but can you see how, as well as making the points, what you really need to do is to pick a quotation from the poem to support that point, and then just write some really, really brief notes outlining um, how that uh, quotation is interesting, okay? Why, why have you picked it out? What can you say about it, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do this for every single other mind map because I don't think that it's uh, kind of useful to do that. I think you can go back to the poems and do that yourselves. However, what I will say is ideally, I've zoomed out so you can see all of these together, okay? Because ideally, and I can't do this on a computer to show you, what you really want to do once you have added to these mind maps is to start to draw connections between the poems, okay? So I'll do that verbally for you. I'm sorry I can't join them together because I don't have a touch screen so I can't um, draw lines. Um, but let's just pick out... Uh, this point that we've talked about, about Valentine, about love being lethal, okay? Now, I don't think that you could argue that any of the other poems are talking about romantic love being lethal in the same way, okay? However, um, in Sonnet 43, towards the end of the poem, um, the idea that, you know, the love that the speaker of the poem and this this poem is feeling towards her partner is so strong um, 
that actually she's saying, I shall but love thee better after death. You could kind of make a connection there, couldn't you? Because you could say that love is lethal in Valentine. In Sonnet 43, it's not lethal, but it's felt so strongly and it's so kind of, um, you know, long lasting that even after somebody has died, that love will be felt for eternity in heaven. So there is there is a comparison there, isn't there, between those two images, love being lethal and it being so strong um, that you can love somebody after death and maybe there's a kind of darkness to that image, okay? So what you would do is you would draw some kind of line connecting the two poems and just write a quick note about how they are similar or how they are connected. And ideally, you'd want to have these four poems together, you know, so make the mind maps a little bit smaller so that you are able to add things in different colours, okay? What I will do is once somebody um, has gone away and kind of made these additions, I will try to make the strongest version of this mind map available to all of you so that you can use it uh, with your own notes, okay? Um, I would like you to use a little bit of time to uh, edit your mind maps and make them more detailed uh, this week. So um, I would like everybody to upload their mind maps. Um, I'll, I'll write the details about that in the text box on Show My Homework. Um, okay, thank you.